Triumph Gulf Coast is a direct result of the BP oil spill. The state of Florida filing a multi-billion dollar lawsuit, a lawsuit resulting in funds to go back into those panhandle communities that were affected in order to expand the economy. Triumph is focused on creating new jobs, new industries, uh, putting that third leg on the stool. In 2010, the Deepwater Horizon oil drilling rig exploded in the Gulf of Mexico. The explosion sent 4 million barrels of oil flowing into the Gulf waters and ultimately impacted coastal areas such as the Florida Panhandle. The state won its lawsuit against BP and now money is flowing into the area and in hopes of job creation. And even with the devastation of the hurricane, Triumph board member Alan Benz still sees the potential in the Panhandle. The hurricane was horrible. It was terrible. But it's given us an opportunity to really change the future of Bay County, uh, Gulf County, uh, and all the surrounding counties. He sees Bay County as a blank slate for industry opportunities, but it does pose the question, can the funds be used to help with relief? Are we helping some with hurricane relief? Yes, and we should, because we have a lot of money in the bank. But we also don't need to get our eyes off the ball of our mission. I was very leery of um, using that money for anything other than its intended purposes because that money was specifically set aside for job creation and economic diversification. County Commission Chairman Philip Griffith says the county was able to apply for funds through Triumph to offset ad valorem losses. Ad valorem tax is the property tax that the county places on all the parcels of land in Bay County. Um, Parker and Panama City Beach do not have an ad valorem tax or a property tax. With a number of homes damaged by Hurricane Michael, this year the county's intake of taxes will be significantly lower. And as the county still waits for reimbursement from the federal government, this is just the first of many difficult budget years to come. With $10 million distributed to those cities with an ad valorem tax, as well as the school district, it will help the county significantly. But ad valorem relief is the only way Triumph dollars will be used in relation to the storm. It's a Simple fact that the Triumph money was not set there for hurricane recovery. It really wasn't. Benz wants people to focus on the true purpose of Triumph, bringing business to the panhandle that will help boost the economy. They see opportunities here. We're ready to help. Triumph Gulf Coast handed out its first funding for projects back in 2017. Board member Alan Ben says it takes the board anywhere from 6 to 18 months to disperse that funding. He says it's a timely process, but it's worth it in the long haul. Kelly Grossfield, News 13, Panhandle Strong.